In this video, we will be discussing about the molecular biology of peroxisomes. First of all, the major function of the peroxisome is the breakdown of very long chain fatty acids through beta oxidation. The second most important thing that peroxisomes do is the removal of hydrogen atoms from various substrates and transfer them to oxygen producing hydrogen peroxide as to O2 as a byproduct from which the organelle gets its name. Moreover, there are some specialized peroxisomes called glyoxisomes. These specialized peroxisomes are found in the fat storing tissues of plant seeds. And we see these glycosomes contain enzymes that initiate the conversion of fatty acids to sugar. Now getting to the proteins of peroxisomes. The peroxisomal proteins are synthesized in cytosol with PTS peroxisomal targeting sequence which is PTS1 signal that's serine, lysine and leucine at extreme C terminus. And these proteins are transported into peroxisomes by PEX receptor proteins PEX. We see we have PEX14 in peroxisomal membrane and PEX5 is in the cytosol which comes in and binds with the PEX14 and forms a transient pore with PEX14. So the complex channel formed with PEX14 and PEX5 mediates the transport of matrix targeting proteins to the peroxisomes. Then there are PEX16 and PEX19 in the peroxisome membrane, which mediates the transport of peroxisomal membrane proteins. And many other PEX proteins are present with different minor roles. Now another important property of peroxisomes is the production from toxic molecules or toxic compounds. We see the peroxisomes are loaded with different enzymes. First, we have the catalase enzyme. This catalase enzyme has the capability to decompose the hydrogen peroxide to water and oxygen. We know the hydrogen peroxide is a harmful byproduct of many normal metabolic processes. So to prevent the damage to cells and tissues, it must be converted into other less harmful substances. And this work is done by catalase enzyme shown in this reaction. Here we see hydrogen peroxide in presence of catalase enzyme gets converted into water and oxygen molecule. Now another important enzyme that peroxisomes have is the urate oxidase or uricase. But this enzyme is absent in humans and other primates since it was lost by pseudogenization during primate evolution. This enzyme urate oxidase converts uric acid to 5-hydroxy isourate and then further into allantoin through uricolytic pathway. But this pathway is absent in humans and other primates. So this concludes the biochemistry part of peroxisomes. Now let's head towards the peroxisomal disorders. First we have mutations in genes encoding PEX1, PEX2, PEX3, PEX5, PEX6 and PEX12. And these mutations cause Zellweger syndrome where there are non-functional peroxisomes. Second syndrome is the Himmler syndrome which is caused by the mutation of PEX1 and PEX6 genes. It affects the transport of signal receptor proteins called the PEX5. And finally, there is Refsum disease, which is caused by the mutations of PHYH gene. This Refsum disease is associated with deficient phytanic acid catabolism, which finally results in the accumulation of fatty acids in the cells leading to this disorder. So this is brief outlook of biology of peroxisomes. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon and also make sure to subscribe this channel. Thanks.